Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about operators. An operator is a symbol which is used to evaluate an expression. Let's take this example. Here c equals to a plus b. This statement is equivalent to an expression. In this expression, we have three variables a, b, c and two operators equals to n plus. So plus and equals to are considered as operators whereas a b c these variables are considered as operands so operands can be a, a constant value or it can be a variable so if we say what is an expression an expression is a combination of more than one operators and more than one operands types of operators based on operands there are total three types of operators are available based on operands in this category first operator is unary operator in case of unary operator there must be one operand and one operator second one is binary operator in this case there should be two operands and one operators third is ternary operator which contains three operands and two operators next is types of operators based on operations so based upon operations there are total eight categories in which first is arithmetic operators it contains plus minus multiply divide and modulus so in case of arithmetic operator there are total five symbols through which we can perform any arithmetic operation moving on to second type which is relational operator here total six symbols are available first is less than second is greater than third is less than equals to greater than equals to double equals to and not equals to all these symbols or operators are used to compare two entities third type is logical operators in this category we have three symbols first is logical and second is logical or third is logical not these operators are used to join more than one conditions fourth one is increment or decrement operators here we have only two symbols plus plus and minus minus these operators are used to increase value of a variable by 1 or to decrease value of a variable by 1 fifth is assignment operators in this category we have equals to plus equals to minus equals to multiply equals to divide equals to and modulus equals to so as the name suggest assignment means to assign values of right hand side expressions into left hand side variables sixth type is bitwise operators these operators can be applied on binary values in this type first operator is complement left shift right shift and or and xor moving on to next type which is conditional operator here we have two symbols question mark and colon this operator is also known as ternary operator next and last type is spatial operators here we have size of operator structure operators and pointer operators so based upon operations there are total eight types of operators available which can be used to uh, perform a particular or specific operation in an expression so now the previous types can be categorized into unary binary and ternary categories so you can see plus minus not plus plus minus minus complement size of and pointer operators are considered as unary operators 
प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड मॉड्यूलस लेस देन ग्रेटर देन लेस देन इक्वल्स टू ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू डबल इक्वल्स टू नॉट इक्वल्स टू एंड और इक्वल्स टू प्लस इक्वल्स टू माइनस इक्वल्स टू मल्टीप्लाई इक्वल्स टू डिवाइड इक्वल्स टू मॉड्यूलस इक्वल्स टू लेफ्ट शिफ्ट राइट शिफ्ट एंड और एक्सॉर एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑपरेटर्स दीज आर नोन एज बाइनरी ऑपरेटर्स एंड ओनली वन ऑपरेटर क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड कोलन इज नोन एज टर्नरी ऑपरेटर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज प्रेसिडेंस एंड एसोसिएटिविटी ऑफ एन ऑपरेटर सो लेट्स टेक प्रेसिडेंस फर्स्ट ईच ऑपरेटर इन सी हैज इट्स प्रियोरिटी और रैंक वेन मोर देन वन ऑपरेटर्स आर अवेलेबल इन एन एक्सप्रेशन देन दे आर इवेल्युएटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर predefined rank this is known as precedence of an operator next is associativity an expression can have more than one operators of same precedence so same precedence precedence means same rank in such cases they are evaluated either from left to right or right to left so this is known as associativity of an operator next topic is type conversion or type casting so we can convert value of a particular type into another by following two ways so first way is implicit type conversion in this type conversion values of lower data types are converted into higher data types it takes place automatically second is explicit type conversion or type casting in this type conversion values of higher data types are converted into lower data types so this is all about operators thank you